This is Andy Friedman with Industry Week coming to you from the Best Plants Conference in Milwaukee, joined by John Fraze from Core Practice, and you're talking about the death of the eight-hour shift, the rise of the 12-hour shift. What's that all about? Well, we are looking at a dramatic change in the United States right now with shift lengths, and as we're looking at seven-day coverage, people working you know, more days, the eight-hour shift just doesn't work anymore. And so there are great schedules out there for employees, but the eight-hour shift just isn't one of them anymore. And financially, it's, it can be a real disaster. So that's what we've been going through. And the employees tend to like the longer shifts? What they tend to like is the more days off. The longer shift is, is something that they're not particularly fond of, but they're willing to work a longer shift in order to get half their weekends off, where on an eight-hour shift, they'd only get about 25% of their weekends off. Now, why do you say it's actually cheaper in many instances for companies to pay overtime rather than to staff up? Well, when you look at the rising cost of benefits in the United States, and it's rising rather quickly, um, straight time is becoming more and more expensive, and overtime is staying at about the same cost because those benefits aren't spread over the 41st hour, or overtime hours. Because of that, really leveraging the employees you already have makes an awful lot of sense. You've got the skills, you need to, you need to use them. And you have some not so great things to say about the emerging workforce, people in their 20s, et cetera. What do you mean by that? Not all of them, but we, we see people in their early 20s. There's certainly a trend there of people staying at home with their parents um, and not starting families, not getting married. And because of that, they don't have the financial pressures of the traditional family in the United States. So they're really saying, you know, as long as I can get a couple of six packs and a new game for my Xbox, I'm going to be fine. That means they're not willing to work the extra hours, and frankly, they're happy with 20 to 30 hours. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And it's hurting manufacturing in the United States. Something to think about for sure. John Fraze from Core Practice, thank you very much for joining us today. This is Andy Friedman from Industry Week coming to you from the Best Plants Conference in Milwaukee.